Before her release in February, Ugandan poet Stella Nyanzi was serving 18 months in prison for cyber harassing Ugandan President Yoram Seveni. She was convicted last year for her 2018 Facebook post that, in graphic language, wished Museveni had died as a fetus for what she says he has done to Uganda and its people. Nyanzi says being in jail gave her time to write a fresh book of poems aptly titled No Roses From My Mouth. I sit on the meager prison bedding spread on the floor, lean against the wall, pull out my pen and notebook and write whatever I please. Ah, what freedom to write. Although my writings are often confiscated by prison staff during sport ward searches and routine body searches, I insist on writing as a form of resistance. After her conviction, some Ugandan writers were wary of offending the government with lewd comments. Nyanzi's supporters responded to the chilling effect on free speech by applauding her use of prose to take on politics. She's our hero. I think we shall celebrate her. One day, there will come a time when we shall say, Stella, you are the reason we are better governed because your fighting has given us all these beautiful fruits. Ugandan authorities have repeatedly detained Nyanzi for criticizing Museveni, who has been president for more than three decades. Although a high court acquitted the poet of cyber harassment, Uganda's public prosecutor insists Nyanzi's online post was illegal. As a result, we have appealed to the Court of Appeal against the acquittals and we intend to peruse the record of proceedings and the judgment and come up with grounds of appeal, which we shall argue to prove our case. Hopeful poets like Daphne Narinda are learning what it means to speak their minds in Museveni's Uganda. So I am terrified, I can't lie. But I also have the confidence and also the inner will to know that if I'm strong about something, then I can pursue it to its end. Meanwhile, Nyanzi herself has become the subject of poetry. A reject of the day civilization, they want to sieve her, throw out the chaff, that her golden crown, wild hairs, tangled in cotton fabric debris, armpits musky after a day's work, nails darkened from a walk amongst trees. That's her. That's her. Ask no more who she is, who, who, who she is. Halima Athmani for VA News, Kampala.